The Everton Kuremold is back for the brand new season. New objectives, new goals. Season 2 begins now. Let's get to work. Yo, our first season was pretty decent with Everton, you know. We assembled this squad and made a relegation threatened Everton team to finish 7th in the Premier League. And not just that, let's not forget Romelu Lukaku equaled the Premier League Golden Boot record. That's why he's the GOAT! But still, I want more. I think this season we need to push for more. We've got the squad to push for more. I want a Champions League spot and possibly a trophy. The good news is, it does look like the board are backing us 70 million to spend in this window. You guys already know the drill. We need to probably improve our midfield a little bit. Probably a new right wing. In fact, that is the most important position. It's time to get to work. Now, if you guys are enjoying this Everton career mode and want to see another episode tomorrow, I know I've made you guys wait a lot for season two. But if you guys can smash out 10,000 likes for the new season, I will 100% get you on an episode tomorrow. So drop a like, subscribe, and let's go. Let me just give you guys a quick refresher of the squad we're working with right now. Season 2, I think the team's better than ever. Richarlison now 85 rated on the left side. Lukaku 87 rated. We still need to have a discussion about potentially cashing in on Romelu Lukaku. In the midfield, players like Deli Ali. Alan, a lot of talks about his future because of his age. Bruno Guimaraes, the new superstar in our midfield, who's 83 rated. You look at the back line, and I'm happy with it. Mikolenko has grown a lot. We've got players like Livramento growing. Love Concern, Godfrey, and Pickford's the man in goal. The bench is where this team kind of falls apart, but it, it is what it is. It's going to take us a while to improve the bench completely. But I like this team. I'm already very clear where we need improvements. Right winger is where the priority is. The rest... We can manage and see what happens. But right winger, this needs to happen soon. Anyways, guys, press conference to kick things off. Don't get rid of Romelu Lukaku next season. He's still banging in the goals. And Moise Keane is pretty low rated. Well, you're not wrong. I don't think I want to sell Lukaku this season. I've thought about it. You just can't sell someone who almost broke an all-time historic record. Lukaku stays this season. Good man. It's also helped by the fact that Moise Keane is still out on loan, but look at Keane's value, he's almost worth 40 million. You know, the fact that we could maybe recall him and potentially sell him on for about 50, 60 million and use that to improve the rest of the team. Let me know what you think about that, just an interesting thought. Next up, Alan is getting old. Instead of swapping Deli Ali for Van Der Beek, why don't you swap Alan and play Bruno Guimaraes at CDM? Yo, this might be the greatest comment I've ever seen. Kent, you legend, no wonder this comments got 424 likes i was just thinking about this midfield man donny van der beek and ali would be amazing together tom davies is back up but right now we don't have the funds to spend on van der beek as well as probably go ahead and sign a class right winger so arlan is someone we can cash in on you are absolutely right look at this guys arlan contract expiring as well 17.5 million is what he's worth i think we should do this this is very smart. It's an opportunity to cash in on Alan. Don't get me wrong, he's been insane. But I think Bruno Guimaraes is more natural in that CDM position. Let's convert him to a CDM. It'll take about 21 weeks, but once we start playing him, they should be fine. Yo, this might be the greatest decision I think we could ever make. You know what? Let's try it out. Let's already just give it a go and see. Donny van der Beek, last season... He was completely ruined by that injury, but I think he's moved forward from it because his overall is still back at 80 now. He's worth about 25 million. Let's see what we can do with this. All right, guys, Donny van der Beek's right here. I'm going to try and do a swap deal between him and Arlen. That way, you guys will get what you wanted about van der Beek being part of the squad. Arlen being old, it's time to replace him anyways because his contract's expiring. This seems like a match made in heaven, but would Manchester United consider having Arlen? That's the real question here. Let's put an Allen in this deal and offer maybe 5 million or 6 million. Let's try this out. 6 million plus Allen. What's Manchester United going to say? Are you kidding me? 23 million. No way. No way am I putting that much money. Absolutely not. Let's bring that down to 10 million. That itself is a stretch. Manchester United are trying to rob me here. This is daylight robbery. They're still sticking to their price. This is absolutely ridiculous, man. Wow. 
Let's let's bring it back down to say 13 million. I don't think I can go more than this because I need money for a right winger too. Wow, they just they just won't be willing to adjust at all, man. Oh my god. Let's go with 15 million. This is my final offer. After this, I'll have to think again. And that's worked. Wow. Manchester United have squeezed every drop of money they could have gotten from us. Fair enough, that's class negotiation. Something I think Manchester United in real life don't do. Well, they paid 80 million for Maguire, you know. Boom. Roasted. We'll get to this transfer later. Back to the press conference for the right wing position. You should sign Mares. You wanted him in your world's career mode, but it didn't work out. Let's see, Riyad Mares. It's gonna be too expensive. He would be literally perfect, you know. Almost at the peak of his prime. Probably gonna just slow down from now onwards. But a player of that quality would fire us straight to the Champions League. You just know that. And guess what? Did you just see that? Did you see that? Contract expiring in 12 months. This is it. We, we, we should probably make a move on him. Riyad Mahrez. Oh my god. Wow. We literally could sign him for like 45 million or something like that. This is well within our budget. They, they, this seems like the transfer to make. Absolutely. Wow. But I'm not going to make the right wing signing in this episode, guys. Because I know you guys in the comment section are going to give me some fantastic suggestions. So we're going to look through all of them and make a call in the next episode. In this one, I just want to wrap up the Van Der Beek signing. Before we get any further, it's time to honor our best player from last season. It was so tough for me to choose between... Between Lukaku and Pickford, but I'm going Lukaku. He just equaled a historic Premier League record. Deserves recognition. Player of the season, Romelu Lukaku. Commiserations to Pickford. All right, guys, let's get to work and wrap up the Donny van der Beek signing. I want to make this happen now. Bring him back to Everton. His stint with us at Everton didn't end well. Suffered an ACL injury, ruined his career for us. We sent him back on loan, lost a lot of money, but I think we need to give him a second chance. I want to see van der Beek succeed seed here i wanted that storyline to work and we're gonna keep trying until it works so we'll give him an important squad role which i think he'll be willing to accept perfect let's try and get him on a four-year deal that'll be even better you'll love to see that all right in terms of wages um we'll give him the same exact wages he's earning actually now nah, let's give him ninety thousand per week will he be willing to accept that a bit of a wage cut to join everton and he does he does accept it boys let's go Van der Beek has accepted a wage cut to join us. That shows his intent. Out of curiosity, guys, I want to see who's the highest paid player at the club right now. Who, who would it be? Presume Lukaku. Yep, it is. Romelu Lukaku is being paid 130000 Richarlison, 120k. Van der Beek's the third highest earner. All right, now let's switch Gimaresh and Van der Beek around like that. Hopefully, Gimaresh gets used to playing in that CDM role soon. All right, now time to shortlist a few players for that right wing position. Again, dead help me out in the comments. Madueke is one of the players I was trying to sign last season. Didn't work out, but we're going to scout him, add him onto the list. Yo, why is Mares not on the list? Let, let's put him back there. He is contract expiring. He's probably the best bet to go for in terms of value. We'll add him onto the short list as well did you guys see Di Maria Easy. play for Argentina a few days ago my god is he insane but I think he's just a bit too old for us in this series because yeah that sprint speed at 69 he, he ain't running past anyone so Di Maria is kind of not gonna work remember Paolo Dybala a player I wanted to sign in the first season but we just couldn't make it happen I don't think it would be possible right now he's just way too expensive and out of our budget but maybe in the future we'll do this for now, these are the only couple of players I'm looking at. Let's scout Madueke and see what kind of rating he's on. And let me know in the comments again if you guys have any ideas. We'll, we'll get to this signing in the next epi. Also, remember, this window is not going to go as smoothly as you expect. You guys know the rule. Until we get to the Champions League, any offer that comes from Real Madrid, Barcelona, or Bayern Munich, we got to accept. And, uh, yep, we get absolutely modded if that happens. Imagine if an offer comes in for Richarlison. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, so hopefully we'll survive this window. Last window, remember, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. We had to sell him because of it. Out of curiosity, how is Big Dom doing? And of course, Bayern Munich, I think he joined. Let's see, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. 83 rated, fair enough. Nah, 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 nah. This, this, this can't be happening. This cannot be happening. Real Madrid have come in with a transfer offer for Romelu Lukaku. And it is absolutely insane. 129 million. I don't think I can say no to this. I officially can't say no to this. I just talked about this rule. What 
has just happened? Roman and Lukaku for 129 million. That is unbelievable. And look at that. We can probably negotiate for more. We could get an unbelievable amount of money for this deal, guys. I kid you not. And would you think it's realistic? I mean, Lukaku is coming off one of his greatest seasons ever for Everton. Not playing in the Champions League. He probably wants Champions League. It does make sense. And we'll have to negotiate. But I am selling him for 130. I believe we can get more for him. For the fee we signed him. And the fee we're going to now sell him. That's a brilliant profit we're making, guys. No cap. But it's going to put us into a very difficult situation. We're going to have to find a way to replace him. I'm going to counter with 150 million. Can we sell him for 150? Good lord. Oh my god, it's done. I maybe should have asked for more. I can't believe we're doing this. This series has just gotten utterly ridiculous now. Unbelievable. I didn't expect this to happen. It could still not happen. But let's see. But let's see. I kind of had a feeling for Lukaku those offers are going to come. And he's been sold. I kind of had a feeling. Kind of had a feeling. It's... It's, I don't know, a tough one. But you know what? A club like Everton, when, when an offer comes like this, you just have to sit back and think, yeah, it makes sense. It makes freaking sense. And it's, it's happened. Big Rom has been sold for an utterly ridiculous amount. Can't believe this. I cannot believe this. We sold him for 150 million to Real Madrid. Unbelievable. Real. Now, that has completely turned this series upside down. Like, honestly, we now have 200 million to spend and we've already signed a player like Van Der Beek. What do we do now? I think first thing we should do is recall Moise Keane. I think he could be a great strike at half of the club now with Lukaku gone. Of course, it'll give us a bit of time to decide who we need as the first choice striker. But I think I'm doing this now. We're going to recall Moise Keane. We're only going to have to pay 650000 And we have a striker at least to now compete in the Premier League. Quickly going to put Moise Keane in that striker position. At least our squad. Where's he? Did I, didn't I just recall him? There he is. I think he's playing for Italy right now. But there you go. Moise Keane in the team for now. Hey, selling Lukaku has just opened up this window for us. Now I'm thinking we could legit sign Paolo Dybala for right wing. Yo, yo, we could legit do this and, and have Paolo Dybala on the right side of our attack trying to revive his career that would just be insane guys I, I am i'm in disbelief what can we do the the opportunities and the ideas are endless i need you guys to let me know what needs to be done ahead we've made one signing this season in donny van der beek we should be now left with two signings in this window one to replace the player we sold in lukaku oh no but keen is like pretty much a player we recall so should we count that i don't think so but yeah two signings left probably Manduweke, 40 million now even he's affordable Pretty much every player on the planet is affordable. Just got a transfer off of Iwobi. We're probably going to sign another winger. So I'm going to sell him for the 8.5 million. Makes sense. It's time to kick off the new Premier League season. The thing is, our squad isn't ready. So we're not in any sort of position to beat West Ham. They're a tough team. So don't know what to expect from this. For now, can Moise Kean be the hero we need? Can he replace Lukaku? That's the real question. Van der Beek making his return. Gimares playing in that CDM role. Let's see what we do against West Ham. Moise Kean. Oh, okay. Okay, what a chance. Bang, he's just scored. Moise Kean on his pretty much debut for Everton has just scored that. Talk about a normal Lukaku replacement. That's how you do it. 1-0 up already. I don't know how he managed to break in his face like that. It's unbelievable. We might not need a new striker if he plays like this. Absolutely insane. Look at that from Moise Keen turning one. And then bang, what a finish. He had the strength to hold off basically two defenders. Now look at that. Zuma wasn't getting close to him. Masuaku just didn't have time to do anything. The dream start for us in this series. If we can get a win here in this one, it'll be huge. It's Van Der Beek. And gets absolutely taken out, man. Come on, West Ham. The poor guy is just back from an ACL. Deli Ali. Nice. Good look to put this one back in. Moise Keane controls it. Oh, my God. That would have been one hell of a goal. He's having the game of his life right now. As we find Mikolenko. Tries to put this one in. We're playing some silky smooth football, man. Deli Ali to put this one in. Godfrey trying to attack it. Can't. But we still have a chance, maybe. Donny van der Beek from distance. Let's see what a shot he has. Well, not good. Richarlison is now the leader of this team now in the absence of, of course, Romelu Lukaku. So let's see what he can do here. Trying something. 
Still Richarlison looking to open up a bit of space. Does so. Strikes it very well. That's a good save from Fabianski. Okay, I'm asking for it shot. I didn't really think of doing that, but oh well. Moise Keane. A penalty. That's got to be a pen. It is a pen. Moise Keane earns us a penalty now. And a chance for us to double up our advantage against West Ham. This is literally the dream start. Declan Rice getting booked for that. Let's go. It's got to be Richarlison. I would have taken it with Romelu Lukaku, but it's it's got to be Richarlison now. Come on. Can Richarlison double up our advantage? Going to go for a power penalty to the left side. Easy. That's what we do. That's what we do. Everton at Goodison Park. The dream start to this Premier League season. I told you, I won Champions League. We haven't even started making the big boy signings. And here we are leading 2-0 against West Ham. This is the season. I'm feeling the vibes. Amara Gray looking for Moise Keane. Ah, oh, come on, Diop. Amara Gray is going to use that pace of his. <laughs> And gets taken out. Referee this time doesn't give anything. Uh-oh. There's space now for West Ham to use. Onuachu bringing it forward. Shocking defending from me. Vlasic now. Bruno nope. Gimaresh does incredibly well. Now playing in that CDM role. Good stuff. By the way, fun fact. I thought Bruno Gimaresh was left-footed all this time. Turns out my, my guy is right-footed. So, yep. Nice. Could look for that cross. It's a good delivery. Deli Ali was not attacking that. Gimara Gray. At the back post, that was that was going more to the corner flag. Richarlison, brilliant. Still Richarlison, finding space to shoot. That is absolutely fantastic. Richarlison getting his second goal of the night. Celebrates right in front of the fans. That was probably one of his best goals. Possibly an early contender for goal of the season. I'm not too sure about that, but... The dribble was simply sensational. Look at that. Reach one player, then just gets away from him, and bang, what a finish. Through the legs of the West Ham defender as well. We're cruising in this game. This has been utterly ridiculous. What a performance. Uh-oh. Declan Rice striking it, and I almost thought he scored there. Wow. West Ham looking to have a chance here towards the end of it. What? How did they score from this? Yo, Pickford. Pickford literally saves everything and then we end up conceding this. Makes no sense. How? Okay, we need to see what actually happened here. Was it a goal by Vlasic? He strikes it. It comes off his feet. Deflection. It was a massive deflection. Pickford just didn't know what to do. Fair play. Guys, if we end up bottling this now towards the end of it. Oh my god, I'll start crying. Carlos Soler with a chance. And a shot's been taken. Rebound. What's happening? That was handball from us, I think. We're lucky. I think Declan Rice was offside anyways. But we should be... It should be 3-2 right now. Let's just put it that way. Declan Rice was way off. Oh, Richarlison. Smooth stuff from him. He knows he's the leader of this team right now. And he's putting in a performance like that. We still... Oh, we give it away, though. But, man, has this been one of our best performances, I think. But we could still end up bottling it, which, no, no, we're not doing it. We're not doing it this time. Let's just be smart. Be sure Richarlison is in the mood of scoring more. Here he goes on a run. Richarlison going for a finesse shot from distance. Couldn't even clear the first defender. Here we go now. Demire Gray. I see Moise Keane making a nice run. Couldn't control it. That was some lovely bit of play. Here we go. Richarlison. Richarlison looking for the cutback. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Should have just gone for goal. No, 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 no. Mikolenko get there. Easy. Right, this time Richarlison is getting it. I can feel the goal coming. I can feel the goal coming. Richarlison clears the defender, but not the goalkeeper. Fabianski with a great save. There you have it, guys. Full time. What a way to start off the Premier League season. Guys, we literally have 203 million in our transfer budget. The next couple of episodes are going to be insane with the kind of signings we make. That's why I don't want to play any more games in this episode because we need time to decide the kind of signings we need to implement. So, yup. Not playing any more games. Maybe Paolo Dybala joins in the next episode. Maybe Riyad Mahrez. Maybe a ridiculous striker. We've got the money to pull all of that and make it happen. So catch you all in the next episode. This Everton career mode has taken an unbelievable twist. And let's see how everything unfolds. If you're enjoying this series, drop a like, subscribe. Catch you all for the next one. But this is crazy. Peace.